are born of the word. First Peter chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, through the word of God which lives and abides forever. This week we want to talk about the abiding word, that is, the importance of having God's word living and dwelling in us. The importance of God's word being alive and residing within us. We must understand here as spoken to us in 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 22 and 23 that we as believers have been born again by the incorruptible seed of the word of God. That means this whole new birth that took place inside of us. This whole regeneration of our inner person being born again. That is being born from above. That spirit man coming alive, being birthed or being filled with the life and the nature of God. It took place by the action of the Word of God with the power of the Holy Spirit. And so Peter is telling us that we've been born again by this incorruptible, the seed which will not decay, this incorruptible seed, which is the Word of God, which is alive, which is dynamic, which is powerful, which is active. So just take a moment to think about this. It was the Word of God that caused us, of course, there was the action of the Holy Spirit, but we are talking about the Word here. It's the Word of God empowered by the Holy Spirit that created in us this new life that we now have. It released in us the very life and the nature of God so that the Bible says that we became born of God. We were born not according to the flesh or according to the will of man, but we were born of God as the scripture tells us, that the very life and the nature of God was released into our spirit. So before we were born again, our spirit was dead. That means they, they did not have the life of God in it. We were alienated or cut off from the life of God, as Ephesians 4, 17 tells us. But when we were born again, the very life and the nature of God was released into our spirit. Second Peter 1 verse 3 tells us that uh, we are partakers of the divine nature. The Word of God released the very life and nature of God into our spirit and that moment we were born again. So that's how powerful, how important the Word of God is. The Word of God is a carrier of the very life of God and the very power of God. So now, if we are going to grow in our life in God, if we are going to grow in the spiritual life that we have, it is obvious that the Word of God is important. So not only does the Word of God give birth or cause the new birth to take place, but the Word of God is what causes us to be nurtured and causes us to be built up in this spiritual life that we have in Christ. So the Word of God must abide in us. It must be alive and it must be uh, dwelling. It must be living and dwelling in us. Let the Word of God abide in us richly. Let's pray. Father, we ask that through the course of this week that you'll open our hearts and minds just to understand how important your Word is to us and how important it is to have your word dwelling richly in us, abiding in us. And give us, Lord, a joy and a desire to have more of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.